So what's, what have been the results of implementing these processes? To start at the very beginning, you know, in the planning process, there's probably a step that I did kind of forget about. The very beginning, if you go through the Arpinger planning process, is that the first day, you're actually going through um, an outward mindset. That you're, you're learning because it's important that you understand that Arpinger core, that outward mindset. And so for me, the results has been is that it's changed how I see others. That's been a huge result for me, is that now um, I'm able to see that I'm the problem. And if I go outward, how can I be helpful to them accomplish their goals? It's made huge impact in my people's lives. That's been a result. So the result has helped me change. It's helped me to be able to be more helpful, to help my employees grow, to help my company improve, to help me have impact in the community is um, is really helped the people. Um, there's a lot of other small things, you know, the, this process and in in Arbinger's kept me alive to how I interview people. You know, I interview different than I do. It's kept me alive to how I compensate people, Been made reference to our compensation plans. Those are some results. Um, and going back to my, my uh, mission statement, you know, it starts with our people, our customer. We've created and um, raving fans of our customers. That's been a huge result. Um, we have a huge database of repeat customers, and they keep coming back. You know, it, it, Casey, it's it's fascinating to me when um, when I ask this question to other organizations. You know, what's what's been the result? So many people go right to the growth. Well, we've been able, we've gone from one truck to thirty trucks. Um, you didn't go there. You went to, I learned that I can be the problem. And you went to thinking about others. And But what's what's the growth been as a result of that? Yeah, so you go from your people, your customers, and you go down to your business. You know, my, my mission statement, down to my business, there's been huge growth. Like I said earlier, I started with one truck, and I ran it out of my house for a couple of years. Um, now we have over 30 trucks. We started with one, like my house, we've gone to, now we have our main headquarters here in, in, in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, but then I have another base, another satellite base up in northern Phoenix. And then I have another base down, um, we started a, kind of a whole other franchise, I know the base down in Tucson. And so we've grown. Um, and so there's been huge growth. And what's also is along with growth, and I can grow, but what's along with growth is that what Arbinger really focuses on is, is your, your budgets, your profit and loss. And um, there's been huge results in my budgets. And there's been some fun things that have happened is once we've assigned line items to people, to have them run with it and figure out things of how they could help, as Mike often refers to, play chess. And how can they now save? And so I remember this one um, girl, her name was Jamie, and she was assigned to our office budget, which was buying supplies and stuff like that. And so we'd meet and she says, are you, in, are you on track with your budget? Are you in line? Are you off track? And she, you know, she'd come to me, I'm on track. And then she'd come with ideas. Every time we'd meet, she'd come with ideas. I think we could save in our paper, because we had different line items underneath office. You know, we have paper, we have ink, you know, we have computer supplies, we have you know, other supplies like tape and stuff like that. She goes, I have an idea of how we could lower our budget with paper how we could lower our budget with ink. And she was coming with these ideas, and that had trickled down to all. And all of a sudden now, you know, we had a certain percentage for our P&L line item, and now it was getting smaller, but we're delivering an amazing results even with a smaller thing. We were not not delivering less results, but we were, you know, being successful. That's interesting. So here you have someone who's uh, essentially, a, I'm assuming, clerical staff. Yep. But she has a responsibility, and she took it to heart, and she really uh, went after that. So she owns it. Yeah. That's part of what I keep hearing. Um, yeah, the, the better each of you own your correct responsibility, the more you're inviting them to do the same. Uh, again, that's what I'm hearing. Am I right in that? Absolutely. And, and it really is important that it starts at the top. Uh, Casey and Nathan's objective for 2016 is to have – is to have a great company culture, and they, they were figuring out ways to measure that. And so to have that liberation for me as a general manager, to know that that's their, you know, one of their overriding important goals, that, that lets me know they're not gonna 
cast a lot of blame <laughs> when things go a little sideways sometimes. It, it, it lets us do what we do best. It gives us great job satisfaction. You know, the ownership in small details, you know, that's, that's huge in making somebody feel important at their job and that they're needed and wanted and an important part of a, of a growing company. Now, you're, you're answering a question that just came up, which is, what would you say as a leader, the most important work you do uh, with your employees to be successful, to, to, to feel valued and grow? What do you do to actually help that happen? You know, one of the, one of the great things with this process is, is I, I used to think I was pretty smart, but <laughs> the more I'm with it, the more I realize how limited my scope is and, and how much I need the help of a lot of other people. And I love it when a manager knows my objective, comes to me with a solution to my problem that I haven't anticipated, or that I don't maybe have enough information to even make that decision that he sees at a different level. And I can see how important that is to them, and, it, and it's hugely important to me, because all of a sudden, I have a potential solution to something I've been worrying about and stressing about that somebody else came up with because they know what I'm trying to accomplish, and they've seen a way to, to help that out. And, and to me, that is great. Um, it's great, it, it, those meetings are just feel good meetings because you know, I'm happy, they're happy, and, uh, and then we could implement it. And, you know, maybe it fails sometimes, but in the meantime, uh, we're working together to accomplish something, and, and that is hugely important. People, our, our employees' engagement in their jobs, that, that makes you happy, and I know it does for me, and, that, and that's one way just them knowing our objectives um, helps keep them helps keep everybody engaged in what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, n not only do they know them, they're actually thinking. Yeah, is there something I can do to be more helpful to you? Yes. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing.